everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home and welcome to another episode in our home renovation series. We're starting off this video at Lowe's. We had to head to Lowe's and get the supplies for the contractor to be able to start prepping our house for stucco. The contractor and his team is going to be applying total wall stucco product to the entire exterior of our house. So they are currently working on prepping the entire outside of the house and we had to pick up all of the supplies for him. That's usually how we do jobs with our contractor. He gives us the list of supplies. We go and buy it all and then we just pay him for the labor and he usually gives us a little bit better price for that. And after we picked all of this up from Lowe's, we're going to head over to the supply company and buy a couple more samples of the Total Wall Stucco product. Okay, so we are back home now. We got three more samples of the Total Wall product and they had our custom sample finally there that we could pick up. So we got the custom sample and then we picked two other ones as well and we are determined that we're gonna pick our color from these three samples. So we're getting the first one mixed up here. Yeah, this our one's Dover the Sky. Dover, Dover Sky. Sky sample. He has to mix in the color to each bucket. So you just buy a bucket of like plain Total Wall stucco and then you've got your little container of color he dumps that in and then he has to do three equal parts of water. Then he has to put this end on his drill and mix it all up. he's mixing here is our custom color that we got ordered in. Okay, the first color here is the Dover Sky. Second color is that custom color. Third color right here is putty gray. And honestly, they all look extremely similar. They look completely different on the card, but then once you put them on the wall, they all look the same. So we're just gonna let these dry overnight and we'll see what they look like in the morning when they're completely dry. So the contractor's guy is coming tomorrow to start prepping the house and Jalen is going to go ahead and blow off all this concrete for him just so that it's nice and clean when he goes to lay down paper and stuff. Day. the contractor's worker is here prepping the house last night like you guys saw we put all those samples on the house and then we just sat in the dirt in front of the house and just stared at the samples trying to make up our mind we finally decided on one and Jalen went ahead and called and ordered all 50 buckets of stucco this morning and they should be ready to pick up tomorrow so we are going to have all 50 buckets before they're done prepping the house, which is awesome. We can stay on top of this. So we're gonna get a few more things done on the outside of the house today, just in preparation for that stucco. In a previous video, I said that we ordered 33 baby chicks and they're actually going to be arriving either tomorrow or the next day. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be tomorrow. So today we wanna go ahead and prep for their arrival. So Jalen's gonna build a little temporary pen for them here in the shop that we can put a heat lamp over and they can just stay in here while they're little chicks. And then once they get a bit bigger, we can move them over to the barn and the little run area that we have for them. Okay, 
Okay, it's all done. Jalen did an awesome job. This is like the perfect little pen for chicks and he built this for free because this was all scrap wood. So now we just have to go to the feed store and get a little chick water and food, heat lamp. We're gonna work on this little screened in porch next. We got some boards to replace these ones that are broken here. And then once the house is stuccoed, I'm going to be painting the boards the same color as the stucco so that it kind of blends in. We're also gonna pop off this screen door and spray paint that black to match. I'm gonna have to clean it first and kind of fix it a little bit. When all else fails without the oscillating tool. I don't wanna not damage that bottom board too much though. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work. Well, it's proving to be a little bit harder than we thought to just pop this board off. Well, change of plans, we ended up ripping off all the boards because they were MDF and they were kind of old and warped and we just decided while we're replacing like two of the boards, we might as well just replace them all and make it look nice. Okay, so I walked out here this morning to show you guys which sample we picked, but I guess yesterday when the contractor was over here prepping the house, he went ahead and he sanded all of these samples off of the house just in preparation for stuccoing. But this is what took him the majority of the day right here was the two walls here at the front of the house. If you guys remember, there used to be a big wall here at the front of the house, and we knocked that down a few months ago, and so this needed to be ground down and cut level and then patch so he went ahead and got that all cut level and then he put this wire here so that he can go ahead and patch this with stucco today and then he did the same thing over on this side as well cut it down level put the level up here made sure it was straight and then went ahead and put this wire up in preparation for putting the stucco over there today and he ground down all of these cracks so it's early in the morning right now that's why it looks like I'm still waking up but if you guys remember I think it was two days ago now that we put these samples on the house we did these Monday night if you guys remember the middle sample that we put on the house not the middle sample the farthest one over here that's the one that we picked it was the putty gray it was the darkest of the three stucco samples that we got and we also liked that it had a little bit of a hint of tan to it and the middle sample was that custom one that we ordered in and we didn't end up going with that just because we liked the putty gray a little bit better and we liked that the putty gray had that hint of tan in it which was kind of what we were going for and Jalen and the boys just left to run down to the post office because the lady at the post office just called me and said she's got 33 baby chicks in the post office waiting for us to pick them up we can help spread it around <laughs> okay, we got some sawdust spread, got their chick food and their water, their little heat lamp, and we're just sitting here watching them run around. They're so cute, little fluff balls. We changed our minds again on what we're going to be doing here at the screened in porch. Jalen's going to explain what we decided to do here. We pulled it off because we were just going to replace it with new wood. Because mm -hmm. that's real wood on the rest of the screened in yeah, porch, right? Exactly. So yeah, exactly. So we are just going to replace it with new wood, which would look good and painted it. But pulling it off, we decided, you know, before we restock with the whole house, why not fill this in with wood? We'll have to frame it up, pull the screen off and have them just stuck over the whole thing and make it stucco all the way over to here. Mm -hmm. So that the only screen in porch is gonna be that front area instead of this side of the house. Yeah, so it'll be this side right yeah. here, the front, and then this much of this side on the other side. I think it's just gonna look better because it's like half of the house. When you pull up to the front of the house, you just see this big area that's screen. It just doesn't look that great. Yeah. I think it'll look a lot better if we just go ahead and stuck with this all the same color 
Um, we'll have the door here and then just in. the front area yeah. will be screened in. I'll back up here and let you guys see from the side what we're talking about so you can see how it's just, yeah, it's going to look a lot better. So we're going to be stuccoing over to here. So the screened in porch is just going to be over on the porch. It won't be like half of the house over here. So after we stucco that portion to the door, the screened in porch will just be this section here and then the front here on the back porch and then over just as wide of that section right here. So it'll be a little more evenly proportioned. Yesterday I ran into Ace Hardware and they color matched the stucco color that we're gonna use on the house. They color match that for a paint color because I wanna paint the boards around this screened in porch the same color as the stucco so it kind of blends in. While we were painting that screened in porch, the contractor's worker was finishing prepping this side of the house for the paint. So he took a hoe and he dug a little ditch right along the side of the house just so that they can be sure and get the stucco all the way down close to the ground. He was working on finishing up these walls. And he's been going to each of these bump outs around the window and using the grinder to just grind them down because the stucco on the bump outs for some reason was heavier than the stucco on the actual walls. And like I said earlier, any high spots on the house, he's been grinding those down as well. He ground down all of this around this window. And yeah, he's pretty much just working his way around the house doing all of this prep work. He still has got quite a few days left to go if he has to work his way all the way around the house doing this. Okay, so we are back at Lowe's again. It seems like we were there so much this week. We went twice in one week. We had to go back to get some more supplies for the contractor as he was prepping the house. And also we had to go over and pick up the 50 buckets of stucco. So our truck and trailer was loaded down for the drive back from Tucson.
got all 50 buckets of total wall today. We got it in the shop last fine. And yeah, this is a lot of buckets. This right here is all 50 of the colors. So they actually have to mix every single one of the 50 buckets. The color comes separately. Okay, so I thought I'd show you guys what the contractor's worker got done on the house while we were gone today. And the front of the house is looking pretty awful because he scraped down every one of the cracks. He's basically got the whole front of the house done, except for now he's got to come back and fill in all of these cracks with some total wall before they come in and do the whole entire house. Last time I showed you guys these corners, he just had the wire netting on them and today he got all of the stucco put on both of these. So he got all of this patched up right here. This is where that door used to be. He scraped the rest of these windows. And then this side over here, he got patched up as well. Basically, he just has to go along on the whole house patch everything, scrape down all the high spots, just preparing for putting on that total wall product on the whole house. And then it looks like he worked around this way as well, just scraping down those high spots around the window. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below. And if you're new here, we would also love to have you subscribed. We have a lot more projects coming up in the future as we finish up renovating this house. And there also is a lot of past videos over on my channel. We've been filming the whole process of renovating this house. I also like to share some cleaning and organizing sometimes. And I do upload two videos a week. So I will see you guys in a couple days with a brand new video. Bye.